okay hello guys so today i will be showing you how to load pgp keys into your yubikey so the prerequisite is that you have to have the yubikey already working on your pc so over here if you go into cleopatra you can already see your yubikey is uh, detected over here so what you are going to do first is to actually provision the pgp part of the yubikey you do that by changing the pin and you must change also the admin pin and the reset code the reset code can be any string this is important so that when you run out of uh, pin retries then you can actually just change the pin by using the reset code so let's go on to it so first step you will need to create or import a pgp key this is going to be your main key so i already have my main key over here uh, there are plenty of tutorials uh, online that shows you how to create the main key so over here i'm going to just show you how to use the main key to create a sub key or two sub keys because if you want to use it for signing and also encryption then you need two keys and then if you want to use it for authentication as well you can actually just use two keys as you can see here it's the same key for signature and authentication so you create the sub keys those sub keys are the ones that you will load into the yubikey itself and then you have to create a key stub that contains the information from the main key together with the information of the sub keys and then you load it into your computer that you want to use the yubikey on and then i will demonstrate on how do you actually use it so let's get on to it so first i already have my secret key over here this is my main key okay so you have to import your key by entering pgp2 import and then you have to enter your key passphrase that is if you encrypt your private key and then it will be imported so once it is imported then we can start uh, the process of creating sub keys so you create sub keys by going into the key edit mode and then your name of the key so over here you can see that you have uh, your main private key so you need to add sub keys these are the sub keys that will be loaded onto the ub key so all you need to do is add key and then you just select 11 or depending on which one you want you can do rsa or dsa but i prefer to choose ecc because it's sufficient and then you can change the flag to sign or together you want to use the key for authentication as well then you just key in a so it's sign and authenticate then finish and then i would go with the default option for the curve setting then you would want to put in your validity the validity actually if it's more than the uh, main keys validity then you will follow the validity of the main key so over here just put five years create enter the main keys password okay and then you have the sub key and then we would want to add another key for encryption because the previous key was for signature and authentication purposes only 
so go ahead and do the same thing just make sure you select the right type of key which is for encryption purposes so over here you can see that you have two sub keys one is for signing and authentication and one is for encryption purpose so after you have created your sub key you can go ahead and select that key that you want to use to put into your UB key so over here I will just select key number 2 as you can see key number 2 is selected and then go ahead and load it to the UB key key to cut load it into slot number 1 yes replace so over here I will just enter the yubikey so admin key admin pin that I have set earlier ok and then select the other key make sure to deselect the previous key and then key to cut load it into the yubikey as an in the encryption slot Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. Let's. I would have to also add the key into the authentication slot as well on the UB key. Okay, so now I have both of my keys loaded into the UB key on three of the slots. Make sure you type save in order to save uh, the keys the sub keys that you have just created because if you don't do this then the sub keys will be gone and you have to do it all over again okay so now after you save let's go out of the utility and then this is where you have to create the key stub you need this key stub on the computer that you'll be using for Cleopatra you will need to know like your sub keys that you have in order to use it so let's do that and then this is your key stub so this is the one that you will import into a Cleopatra preferably on another machine that you want to use the UB key on without exposing your main key so let's do that so because I created all the keys over here and I want to use this PC just to sign and decrypt or encrypt without having the key itself on my computer. I want the key to be in the UB key itself. So I already actually have this uh, primary key on another computer that I keep it safe on. So this is actually my laptop. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything from the system let's see okay so let's now assume that this is your laptop and it has uh, no keys loaded onto it and you can see if I just uh, if I list keys there's absolutely no keys whatsoever on this PC 
and you just want to use the sub keys that you have stored into the UB key. So we have we have to let the system know what sub keys that we have. So we just pg import the sub keys that we just created. Okay. So now it has been loaded into Cleopatra. So if you see over here, it will say that these two sub keys are on a smart card. And then, okay, so after you have imported your key stub that contains the information of the sub keys that you have you i will demonstrate to you that if you want to sign using these keys as you can see here it's on a smart card which is your ub key you just have to like let's say if i wanted to sign some random file and then we say please insert the smart card so this is where you insert your ub key and then we will ask you for your pin lock the ub key and signing has succeeded so that is pretty much how you load sub keys into your ub key Let's not forget this one most important step that is to make sure that you do not bring around your secret key let's say in your laptop because the idea is that I want to bring around the secret key only in my UB key so in order to not expose the key as a file or something that people can take from the computer itself Okay, so we list down the sub keys like such. And then we can see there's actually three sub keys. So actually, the two last sub keys are the ones that we just created and loaded into the UB key. So the secret key is no longer here. This is only just the key stub. However, the first sub key that is actually your is created when you create your primary key it's together and since you need separate keys to sign another key to encrypt the encryption key is created as a sub key so this sub key was not exported anywhere it was not loaded into a smart card so the secret is actually still there in order to clear the secret all you have to do is copy the fingerprint in order to delete you just type in delete delete secret key put in your key ID and then you have to put an exclamation mark at the end to signify that it is a sub key that you are deleting press enter and it should delete your key well i have already deleted my key so over here we say not found but you should be able to delete your sub key over here the secret so as you can see on the details now i no longer have the secret key to my primary signing key so right now this computer itself does not contain any secret key at all everything is loaded on to the UB key okay so one more thing I would like to show you is that the decryption process is that it's the same as signing so just select the encrypted file insert your UB key and key in your and it should be decrypted yep 
so that is pretty much how it works with the UB key on Cleopatra a very simple steps just follow these steps first you need to create your key preferably create on your main PC or if you want to create on the same PC then make sure you back up the main key and uh, you back up the main key somewhere and put it somewhere safe and not use the main key you just use the sub keys instead so and then you create the sub keys load it into the ub key then create the key stub that contains the information of the sub keys and load it on the computer that you want to use the ub key on and then you just use it with Cleopatra or you can use it with a command line tool alright that's it I hope this will help have a good day